What's up guys, it's your boy BK. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to get the Black Spindle Exotic Sniper Rifle. I'll be giving you guys a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to acquire this and also I'll be giving you guys some tips on how to beat this pretty fast. Now, you guys are gonna wanna have a full fire team of high level people. Now, this is a 240 mission, but the bonus mission makes it almost impossible. It's almost like a 300 mission. So I do suggest you guys have some friends, have some high weapons and go on with a plan. And I'll be giving you guys the strategy that we did that actually one of my fire team members came with XR Cow. He actually came with this the first try and we got him down. We also, we was actually on this for like three hours and he came up with this plan that actually worked a miracle. So what you guys want to do is start up the mission, come to where I'm at right now, and you guys are going to want to kill this ogre. Now, once you kill the ogre, you're pretty much time based because you have to run through this mission um, in order to catch the ship. And I think that's around like five minutes or so. So you pretty much want to just speed run through everything and I'll just be showing you guys exactly where to go uh, once you are close to the location. So just wait till this part pops up and just run through this entire maze until you get to the two doors with the relics. Now remember you have to get to the doors with the relics and if you go past that you are doing it wrong. So I'm um, just going to show you guys exactly where to go. So just speed through this uh, part right now. You don't have to kill any enemies because you are time based. And uh, once you get to this part right here, you're going to see two doors that requires two relics. So you're going to have to put one in one door and then one in the next door. And this is the second door that you have to put actually two relics in. So once you get to the part where you have to put the two relics in, you are nearing the location you have to do to start this side mission. So just follow exactly where I go in the video. You just guys want to come up these steps, uh, come around to these steps and come around more to some more steps and just keep going until you see a door uh, all the way to the far back of the map now if you don't see a door opening up this means you took too long to get to this area and that means you have to start it all over but if you see the door opening up that means you did it correct and you are on your way to getting your exotic sniper so just go exactly where i go and again you guys are gonna need some high power weapons uh xr cow came up with this strategy um, I actually have the exotic sword. I'm also working on that video for you guys now that will be up today and it is a beauty. So make sure one of the people in your team has a exotic sword and make sure you also have a hunter. Now this is not required but it does help a lot. Make sure you have a void walker, uh, not a void walker, void bow uh, for the hunter so you can have that double damage uh, once you're fighting the boss. Now once you get to this part, you will be fighting a lot of Taken and you only have 10 minutes to clear everything and fight the boss. 10 minutes is not a long time uh, to fight a bullet sponge. So you guys are going to get through this part as fast as possible. Um, you guys are going to have as least deaths as possible. Um, I actually died in this part, and um, which wasn't part of the plan, but we made it for time. Because uh, of the sword, it takes out enemies. Are pretty fast so make sure you guys have a guy with a sword that has the uppercut the uppercut does a ton of damage and I'll be doing a video on that as well so make sure you guys have some high power weapons the storm colors also come in handy because they take out taken pretty fast and make sure you just get through this without dying a lot and so you can have enough time you guys want to have at least seven minutes or at least six minutes until you get to the room you don't want to have nothing under like five minutes because that is a very uh, short window in order to kill a boss and kill every ad that's in the room because again you have to kill every ad and you have to kill the boss within 10 minutes so you can't just kill the boss and leave the ads and they'll just disappear at the end uh, no you have to kill every ad and you have to kill the boss so uh, I'm just gonna fast forward this part until we get to the part that we actually have to be at now again we just skip that part and once you get to this room you're going to see a boss and you will see a lot of fallen and he has a lot of health so what we did we took out all the black balls so you guys are going to take out all the black balls so no more ads can spawn and just take out the ads that's there for now and the ad respawn time is like pretty pretty fast so you guys want to get as much damage as possible uh, so take out these ads uh, make sure you guys clear left and right and once all the ads are done, make sure your hunter uses his, his bow um, on the boss. And make sure you have your warlock with his sword or whoever has a sword uh, just to start getting him with as much hits as possible. Uh, you want to get him down as fast as possible. 
uh, with, so you can have enough time to kill the ads because he's not as hard as you think. It's just the ads that take up most of the time since they have a lot of uh, shields and stuff. But once he's down to like a good enough health, uh, you can just breeze through this mission uh, pretty much fast right after this. Again, XR Cal came up with this strategy and it worked the very first time he said it, uh, which was pretty great. So I'm also going to skip through a lot of this so you guys can see uh, what it's like once he gets down to like a little bit of health and what you guys have to do. So just make sure you guys take out all the black balls. Make sure you guys call it out. There'll be, I think, around like eight balls that spawn. So make sure you kill all eight of those balls and make sure you just kill all the ads. You don't want to leave any ads because if you leave any ads, the mission will just like end on you and you have to start all over from the beginning. So uh, have a guy with a high impact sniper, have one guy on ads and just have another guy just uh, looking out for you guys, just giving out revives and stuff. And you guys don't want to die a lot on this part because it does take around 10 seconds to respawn and that 10 seconds could be brutal uh, once doing this mission. So again, just take out all the ads uh, make sure you guys take out all the black balls make sure you just you know work as a team and he'll go down pretty fast now once he's down again these enemies will not despawn so you have to kill them all so uh, i'm just going to fast forward this part until the last one is dead and once he's dead you will get the exotic sniper uh there's a possibility you can get a ship or a shader i'm not too sure but i got the exotic sniper and i got the ship as well and it is pretty sweet I'll just make a little video on that as well, uh, showing that all to you guys. I didn't actually get to capture it in this video because I just wanted to get this tutorial out for you guys. And if you also need help with this, um, feel free to add me on Xbox Live. Um, I have no problem, you know, helping out people. I just send a message if I'm online. I'll be I'll be glad to help you guys do this. And also, I do have the sniper, uh, the exotic sword tutorial coming up today so just be sure to check out for that video as well if this video helps you out be sure to drop a like also if you enjoyed the video be sure to subscribe to see more destiny content in the future and until the next video i'm bk and i'll see you guys later peace